you're still making that mistake, showing off your work with those super simple animations which makes it look cheap to clients. Meanwhile, a lot of motion designers animate like that and they're totally flexing their professionalism. If you want to learn this really fast, stay with me until the end of the video. Okay, the first thing we need to do is select the notification layer. Then we open the layer and we want to animate the top section first, which is the header. To do that, I open the layer. We want to animate its path and its scale. I press U so the keyframes appear. I move one frame forward and trim the layer so it won't be visible in the beginning. Then I go three frames ahead and add another keyframe for the scale. At the beginning, we want the header layer to open from the center. We use the motion tool script for this. I hold Alt key and click on this button. Then I reduce the scale of the layer to about 5%. Then I easy ease the keyframes. Next, we move on to animating the shapes path. I move this keyframe to the end. At the end, we want it to look like this. And at the beginning, I change it to this state. One frame before it goes back to its original state, I move this one a bit lower and the other one a bit higher. After doing that, we apply the bounce expression to the path. So when the layer goes back to its original form, it gets a nice bouncy feel. Okay, let me hide the frame layer for now so we can see the animation better. After the header is formed, we move on to animating these icons. We go into the group and add the trim path modifier to the group. Here I set the end value to 0. 3 frames later, I set it to 100 so it starts drawing on. To make the lines animate one after another, I set this to individual. After that, in the same third frame, we go to animate the frame shape. For this one, we want to animate both the path and the scale. We have to place the anchor point at the top because we want it to scale from here. I press U. To keep the keyframes from getting mixed up, I select the keyframes related to the header and change the label color. Same for the keyframes of our frame shape. I move 6 frames forward and add another keyframe for the scale. And at the beginning, I collapse it. Then I easy ease the ending keyframe. I place the path keyframe at the end and move 3 frames backwards and change its shape to this form. Then I easy ease the last two keyframes and I think a value 75 looks better. Okay, let's play it and see how it looks. I move the keyframes of the frame shape layer a little forward so it looks better. After that, we move on to creating a texture for the header. For this, I use an image. I import it into the comp, scale it down so it roughly matches this size. I put it in a new comp and name it texture. I scale it a bit larger and animate its position however I want. Then I toggle hold the keyframes so the changes happen in the single frame. We go back to the main comp. Now I want to place the texture inside the shape of the header. For that I make a duplicate of the notification layer. I delete the parts I don't need and keep only the header and set the texture to alpha matte of the header and align the texture with the rest of the layers and scale it down a bit so it looks better. I can lower the opacity a little. After that, I add a shadow to the layer and set its color to crimson. And for the content of the notification, you can add any content you like and animate it. 
Okay, for closing the pop-up, we use rotation. I put all the layers except the background into a new comp. And I set the comp size to the match the layer and crop it. Then I go back to the main comp and make the layer 3D. I reveal the rotation and add a keyframe for Y rotation and another for the scale. I press U so the keyframes appear. Then I easy ease them. I move 7 frames forward and set the value to minus 180 degrees. I copy the scale keyframe here and increase its value in the middle. To avoid this bad luck, I reduce the space in between the keyframes so the animation looks better. And in the frame where the back of the card is visible, I split the layer here. I move it down and find it in the project panel and make a duplicate of it. With Alt and drag, I replace it with the second comp. And inside the new comp, I design the back of the card. I don't need this layer, and I delete this one too, and set the texture to alpha mat for the whole notification. To keep the texture from affecting the shadow area, I duplicate the notification and remove the drop shadow on the lower layer. I go back to the main comp, and you can see that when it flips back, the back of pop-up is visible. And then I think reducing the scale of the layer will look better, maybe around 80. Same for the top part. And to make it more appealing, we can use the tent effect. I set the opacity to 50, and I add a keyframe for the amount. At the beginning, it's zero, and at the end, the layer fades out. I think it turned out really good. If you're interested in After Effects and motion graphics and want to learn this craft properly, I highly recommend checking out my Motion Hero course. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.